Leia, and in this video we're taking a look at the Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot. I've been excited to share this deck with you for a long time now. I had it on pre-order, but I was busy doing other stuff when the cards were released, so I'm only doing this now. But finally. Anyway, I do want to invite you to stay even after we check out the cards for a bonus channel segment I've been adding to my videos lately, which is my thank you to those of you who enjoy receiving inspiring messages. The regular viewers and the subscribers to this channel know that we do weekly reading videos of inspiration and food for thought here, so the channeled segment is an extension of those for fans of that sort of thing. Anyhow, let's get on with our look at these cards. Welcome back! So here we have the card box right in front of us. This deck is published by Los Carabello, so for those of you already familiar with their cards, the packaging for this deck is how they normally do it. Now they do have tarot card kits which come in much larger boxes. Here, let me show you just as a comparison. So that's the tarot of the New Vision, also by Los Carabello. It's one of those deluxe kits. They have a few. Of course, these boxes are way sturdier, and the ones I have, they have these awesome magnetic closures, so you don't ruin the box by trying to get the flap open every time you want to take the cards out. This particular one, you can lift the lid off. And the kits also have a much bigger and more detailed guidebook than the cards in regular packaging do. And because, to me, the artwork on the Chicoli deck is awesome, it's just beautiful in my personal opinion, and we'll see that in a few moments. I think it would have been nice if it came as one of their deluxe kits. So the little white booklet that comes with these cards is what you can expect from regular Los Carabello decks. The instructions are by Linnea Weatherstone, whose Victorian Fairy Tarot I also have. We might do a review on that sometime too. The guidebook for that one is very detailed and it's just spectacular. So again, if the Chicoli deck came in a deluxe kit with a bigger guidebook and Linnea Weatherstone wrote it, that would have been so cool. Now the little white booklet is divided into five languages and you can see that it's pretty tiny, so the English portion goes until only page 19. In the very beginning, we see the illustrations for the court cards as used throughout the deck. So there's the knave, the knight, the queen, and the king. And the knave, by the way, is known in other decks as the page. And while we are on the subject of terminology, there are discs here instead of coins or pentacles. Not that it really matters because those words aren't on the cards anyway. And then there's a very brief introduction before it goes into the card meanings, beginning with the major arcana and then the minors before ending with the court cards which I found a teeny bit odd, just because the actual cards are arranged in the box when you first open it, at least when I did, where the court cards weren't separate from the minors. Each suit was grouped together, including the court cards for the suit they belong to. And for the interpretations, the cards all have a couple of sentences worth. There's also a little two-card spread included in this guidebook, by the way, which I think is a good one for providing some quick insights. Other than that, though, the little white booklet is very brief, so it gives you a jumping-off point, but you would have to use your intuition for the most part. As it is, the images call for you to work a lot with your intuition, as they don't match traditional tarot imagery. Now let's take a look at the cards, which is probably what a lot of you have really been waiting for. So that's what the card backs look like. And I also want to say, by the way, that when I ordered this, the card backs look different, but this is what they actually were like in the box. And then, card stock wise, this is typical Los Carabello too. It's not too thin, not too thick. Pretty good. Also, these cards are a little bit glossy, but not excessively so. So let me show you some of my favorites. Nicoletta Ciccoli, of course, is the artist, and the images we see on the cards were taken from existing art that she already made. They weren't put together especially for this deck, in other words, and that would explain, perhaps, why some of the images don't appear to fit the card they represent in traditional tarot. The Major Arcana cards have Roman numerals both on top and underneath. 
while the minors have the symbol of the suit they belong to on top and their corresponding Arabic numeral or court card symbol on the bottom. All the cards have a thin white border around, and many of the characters appear several times. There are even storybook references such as Alice in Wonderland and Snow White. For my personal taste, I love the artwork. It's very surreal. I would also use the word haunting to describe it, and despite there being pops of pastel colors here and there, there's this darkness hanging over these cards because of some of the themes that some might find a little disturbing. Also, there's a grayish cast, even on the cards with somewhat lighter colors. Now, I wouldn't recommend this deck to a beginner who wants the foundation of traditional tarot because there are so many liberties taken here, but I suppose if you wanted to read the deck like oracle cards and just run with your intuition because you're really drawn to the artwork, you could. Some of my most favorite cards involve candy and cake, and there's this really interesting theme here, by the way, of eating food that appears to have feelings or be a living being. Bottom line is, personally, I adore working with this deck because of what the images stir up in the subconscious. If you've watched a bunch of my other videos, you know that I enjoy the value of doing shadow work, and this deck has a great balance between light and dark where the artwork appears innocent at first glance, but it really hides so much meaning if you take a closer look. And that's it for our glimpse at the Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot. If you've been wanting to see these cards in greater detail, I hope this video was helpful. Hi again, angels. Welcome to our channeled segment. My personal thank you to those of you who tune in for inspiration. If you came here only for the Chicoli Tarot, you don't have to stay, but if you enjoy chewing on some food for thought and want to be uplifted, you're more than welcome to stay. All we do here is simply listen for messages from our guides, angels, and other friends of the light and spirit. Even just plain and simple intuition. What comes through could be for several people, but it won't be for everybody. So if you enjoy this segment and you don't get a message this time, make sure you subscribe so you always catch the next one. So let's begin. Who I am feeling guided to address this time around is you who are pretending to be in a happy marriage or relationship, even if you are actually numb on the inside or straight up hurting. The people around you have this idea of your relationship being such a blessing, a really good thing, that you sometimes wonder if there's something wrong with you for not feeling like this is the right place for you to be. You've wondered whether you're being ungrateful or unappreciative, and yet you know that you and the person you're with are not at all suited to each other. Your interests lie in different directions and you don't connect. Looking back on your decision to get involved with your partner, you realize now that you were coming from a not-so-healthy place when you decided to enter into the relationship or you got swept away before you could think about it. Pay attention to your feelings and concerns. Don't brush them away just because other people think differently than you do. They don't see the entire picture, nor do they have to live with the results or consequences of your actions. So take your feelings into account and make sure you aren't in denial of what you know to be true inside. Take care of yourself. You're in the best position to see to your needs and know that you're not alone. Maybe it's time to start being honest about what's really happening here so that you can have the love and support of those who have your best interests at heart. Thank you so much, angels, for joining me for another video. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone else whom you know will appreciate it. I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Namaste.